Getting stuck is easy. Getting unstuck is not so easy. Unless you know how. Whether it's personally or professionally, the steps to change are exactly the same. There's a clear-cut formula to living the life you want and deserve. Are you ready to make a change? It's easier than you think. Go to thehabitformulabook.com and get yourself a free copy. Remember, you don't even have to read it. Just do the exercises at the end of each chapter. If you want me to hold your hand, upgrade your order to the premium course. These principles are the same steps I took to work 25% less and make 30% more. If you seriously want to change something in your life, thehabitformulabook.com will show you how. And get yourself a free copy or upgrade to the premium course for even better and faster results. And get unstuck today. thehabitformulabook.com Everybody, you know what time it is. It's lunchtime with the Habit Master. I'm your host, Dr. Stephanie Aldrich, and I help people change their bad habits. When you change your bad habits, you change your life. Today I thought I'd mix it up a little bit and get out of the studio. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful September day. God, it's almost October. Can you believe it? Um, I thought I would take advantage of getting outside, getting a little vitamin D on my skin. And um, the topic I want to talk about today is parking lot safety. And as you can see, I'm in my parking lot. So we got some cars over here. Got the traffic, got the school right behind me. So I thought I would get in my old Subaru. Hey Boz, how are ya? Um, just kind of hang out in the car today and talk about parking lot safety. Um, when I was going through this, I wanted to get some stats on, uh, you know, people being assaulted in parking lots, and this also includes uh, parking garages. So, if you know, I can come up with some safety tips today. Hey Bry, come up with some safety tips today that can help you, um, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, big, short, tall, doesn't matter, you have to be aware of your surroundings and be safe, especially when you're out, maybe at a sporting game, you know, you're watching, uh, you know, football game or a concert or something, and it's
at a sporting event, you're going to be there for, you know, three, four, five hours. When you come out, more than likely, it's going to be dark, right? So the best thing for you to do is make sure you're in a well-lit area, okay? You don't want to attack people in daylight, right? They, they kind of are suspicious and sneaky structures, right? So they don't want to get caught. They don't want to have surveillance cameras, you know, whatever. You want to be, you know, going into attack mode and being, you know, sneaky about it. So when you're looking at where you're going to park, okay, whether it's in a garage or a parking lot, try to park in a well-lit area, okay, so that at least you know you got a little bit of light and it's not so dark and creepy out there. Another thing you got to look for is bushes, you know, high big bushes where somebody can like hide. Big trees, you know, with a lot of leaves, a big canopy over it, right, um, that they can hide in there and then they can jump out and attack you when you're not looking, right? It's not about necessarily a carjacking, they just want your purse, they want your wallet, they want money, a watch, you know, whatever, something stupid, right? They're willing to put themselves out there when you're available, when you're not paying attention. So, well-lit area, try to watch for bushes or trees or whatever. Try to stay maybe in the middle of the parking lot where, um, you know, there's tons of cars and tons of other people. Love it. You're going to know that they feel 
handed, so I always I always carry it with my left hand. But I always carry it like this, right? You can jab them, jab them in the throat, jab them in the eye, right? You can scratch them. If they come up behind you, you can gouge them like that. You can gouge them in the groin. I mean, if you get this thing solid enough and you hit them with all your might or scratch them, uh, they're gonna go away. And you can go and scream, you can make some noise. Um, you can, you know, run away, right? Go get some help, go call the police, go get the security guard, whatever you gotta do. But I like to hold my keys like that. So if you don't have pepper spray or something big and clunky on your keys, get them off of me and then I'm booking out of there, right? Another thing that most people don't even think about is your key fob. See the little red dot there? Listen. It's an alarm. You can use this, okay? I don't care if you're really far away from the car. As long as it picks up the signal, this is how I help to find my car when I'm in a big parking lot and I forget where I'm parked. seat's going to be. Hold on, let me do it this way so you can see what I'm doing. Do this, right? And you position your cart so that you put your kid in first, right? And see, I'm still looking at the back of my vehicle. There's a car parked beside me. Nobody can get in. You put your cart, like, right here in front, okay? Because then that cart is blocking you, blocking somebody from coming in. Your kid's safe in your car seat. I am against the back door. Nobody's getting here because there's truck vehicles here, right? Or if there isn't a vehicle to the side of you, guess what? You, your car door is protecting you now. What are they going to do? I mean, you'll be able to see them if something's coming or your kid will be able to see them, right? Um, keep the cart in front of you. And then when you, you can just come over to the back of the car, right? And then put your groceries away, but do it to the side, like how I'm standing. Here, let me get myself better. Like I'm standing. You don't go like this. Just go 
to the side. Put your stuff in, put your stuff out. You can kind of see what's going on. Make sure you do a little swivel action, right? When you do that, you can see what is going on. You can pay attention to